Hey everyone, welcome to the very first devlog for the Outlanders. We're excited to take you behind the scenes of our game development journey and show you how we're bringing this intense, post-apocalyptic survival thriller to life. If you're new here, let me give you a quick rundown. The Outlanders is a story-driven survival game set in a world devastated by a viral outbreak. In the game, you'll play as Alex Winter, a former soldier on a mission to find his family who have been taken by a powerful and secretive organization known as Veritas. With a deadly virus ravaging society, Alex must brave the Outlands, a hostile, desolate landscape beyond the walls of the last sanctuary city. So, let's dive into where we're at right now. Currently, we're in the level blockout stage. Now, if you're not familiar with level blockouts, this is the stage where we set up the basic structure of the environments. We're not adding any details or textures yet. Instead, we're focusing on layout and scale to make sure the spaces feel right for exploration, action, and story moments. For example, we're working on the layout of Sanctuary Alpha, one of the last remaining safe havens for survivors. This city is where Alex begins his journey, and it also plays a central role in the game's storyline. Even though it's a refuge, there are some dark secrets hidden here some that Alex will uncover as he ventures into the Outlands. Each area in the Outlanders has its own unique feel, and the level blockout lets us experiment with player movement, sight lines, and pacing. For instance, we're setting up resource locations, pathways, and areas where enemies might ambush the player. We want players to feel like every step they take in the Outlands could mean life or death, and that starts with crafting an immersive layout. This stage is also where we test out exploration paths and potential hiding spots. The Outlanders isn't just about fighting, it's about survival. Players will need to scavenge for supplies like flashlights, medical equipment, weapons, and other essential items. We're working hard to make each resource feel meaningful, and that all begins with designing levels that encourage players to explore every nook and cranny. Our goal is to make each area from the safe zones of Sanctuary Alpha to the eerie landscapes of the Outlands, have its own distinct atmosphere. We want players to feel the tension as they venture into unknown territory, and we're laying the groundwork to build that atmosphere right now in the blockout stage. After the blockouts are complete, we'll move on to adding lighting, sound, and of course, details that will bring the world to life. But right now, it's all about ensuring that the layout feels good for gameplay. It's exciting to see the skeleton of the game starting to take shape, and I can't wait to share the progress with you as we build up each part of this world. Thanks so much for joining us on our very first devlog for the Outlanders. We'll be sharing regular updates as we work on the game. You can join our Discord server with the link in description. And if you're as excited as we are, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any questions or ideas. We're thrilled to have you with us on this journey, and we can't wait to show you more. If you'd like to help support the Outlanders and our journey in game development, we'd really appreciate it. Every little bit helps us get the PC equipment and gear we need to bring this vision to life. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so through our PayPal link down in the description. Thank you so much for helping us make the Outlanders possible. Stay tuned for more behind the scenes, sneak peeks, and insights into how we're building the Outlanders. Until next time, stay safe and keep surviving.